YouTube, Honey Ground, Grandma Becker YouTube video, and I'm back here with a sad video. I ain't gonna lie to you, this one kind of hurts my heart because I have three YouTubers that I always looked up to. I gotta go, my boy DDG, my boy Flight, and my boy David Dobrik. And hearing him come out with an apology video, I don't even know what's going on. I'll be honest with you, I see at the bottom just discuss multiple forms of trauma, including rape and SA. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I literally recently just went on Twitter and I've been seeing this girl named Trisha Pietis. I don't know. She's um the girl that did a video with uh, Adam from No Jumper and she used to be married to Jason. Or married. I don't know if they was married or not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go into that. But this is a real sad video because this is my dog. This is my fucking dog. Like I, I, I looked up to this nigga, man. And I don't. I don't know what's going on. Apparently, he, he says rape. I don't know if he raped somebody. Or that seems like some shit Dom would do, low key. I'm not even, not even on some weird, just throwing out names. That just seems like something Dom would do, or like, or like a uh, no. Uh, I was about to say Noah. Uh, what the fuck is it? Uh, what the fuck is the fat dude name? Damn, my nigga, the, the, the plate cleaner, the nigga who, who, who always wants some Krispy Kreme. I know the fuck I'm talking about. He's even one of them two. I, I wouldn't expect my my boy, my dog David. So, so I heard been hearing some people are saying he only made this apology video because Geek's not fucking with him no more either. Dog. I, like I said, this is my dog. I ain't, I ain't gonna read nothing to it. I ain't gonna do nothing to it. Let's just watch the video. I'm gonna get my little two cents while we watch it's, it. It's um, 1.45 in the morning. And they need that new crib too. I know this, I know this is devastating for him because he just bought that big ass crib and all that. I'm finally by myself. <laughs> Which, mm. I know it doesn't sound that crazy to be by yourself at 1.45 in the morning, but um, this week's been pretty hectic, and there have been a lot of people, um, a lot of people around telling me what to do, giving me advice, um, trying to help me. Um, most okay, so a lot of people are trying to help you. What, what is happening? Well, I'm so confused. And, and that was a lot, and 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 I, I now I I, I just want to I want to be able to do this and just shoot straight into the camera and just talk to you guys. Um, I've put myself in a lot of situations where I needed to apologize for my past actions. And yeah, oh yeah. Also been hearing about the blackface show. I don't know what's up with that dog, but I hope that wasn't intentional. I ain't gonna. I know people make mistakes. I'm gonna say that right now. People do make mistakes. But if that blackface joint was intentional, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, I heard about that. I heard about the blackface. I heard the dude Seth, the, the only black guy that used to be in the videos, they did something to him, and he didn't like it. He wanted the video taken down. I heard Trisha want the video taken down. Uh, now I see something about rape. I don't know what's going on. Never I done. It just, I thought it was just you know people just getting angry about it, them being in the videos, doing things that you know he wanted them to do. I don't know. I low-key keep looking at the mic like that, y'all. But yeah, he keeps saying that. That's all I keep hearing. I don't know. Let's just watch it. I'm sorry. And I've never done this respectfully. And my last video is a testament to that. I, I, I don't want to defend that video. I don't want to delete that video. I just want to be clear. What this video isn't going to be is it's not going to be me discrediting Trisha, Kat, or any other woman Okay, involved. yeah, see, he did. Um, I don't know who Kat is and any other woman, but I know who Trisha is. So he's he, he been saying what she's been saying, too. Words. Um, that may trigger some survivors and that's just so I don't explain anything vaguely and I can explain every situation appropriately. I want to start this video off by saying I fully believe the woman who came out against Dom and said she was by him. Um, as was oh, oh, so I, I was right. <laughs> it was fucking Dom. Damn, that, yeah, that's, his, that's his childhood friend too. Him, Alex, and Dom. Oh, those, those used to be the trio, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, that's ported. crazy. The next day, I got consent to post the video. Even though I oh, got Oh, you posted consent. a video? Hey, damn my dog. Yo, don't tell me you... Hold on. Maybe I just didn't hear that right. Did a nigga post a video again, right? Explain every situation appropriately. I want to start this video off by saying I fully believe the woman who came out against Dom and said she was by him. Um, as it was reported, the next day, I got consent to post the video. Even though I got the consent to post that video, I should have never posted it. Yes, sir, the fuck? Boy, if my sister or anybody got raped or my mom got raped, then you posted the video, nigga, we got squared up. That's your mistake. Damn, you my dog. Why would you do that? I, what what I understand now, and I didn't understand before, is that she sent that text because she felt like she had to, not because she wanted to. What text? And that Anybody got the text? Hey, hey, let me know in the comment section if I'm reacting to the wrong videos or not. Let me know what video y'all want me to react to, because I don't know what text they talking about, but this is, this is a what the fuck, fuck shit. Up. And I'm sorry. Yeah, it's when she up. later reached out a couple months later to take the video down, I immediately took it down 
and I want to apologize to her and her friends. Okay, he did take the video down. I appreciate that. I mean, you shouldn't have posted it in the first place. Putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their safety and values were compromised. I'm so sorry. I was completely disconnected from the fact that when people were invited to film videos with us, especially videos that relied on shock for views or whatever it was, that I was creating an unfair power dynamic. I did not know this before. It was completely wrong and I wish I was more responsible and I wish I was more aware at the time and, I, and I'm so sorry I missed that. I didn't know what was going on in that room and I should have been. I should have been there and I should have been making sure that everybody involved was was taken care of and wasn't uncomfortable. I don't want to use What is happening? Wait, so maybe maybe I'm missing a vlog and that's what he posted. It was like a like I think I know what he's talking about because well of course Dom had a bunch of girls in his vlog. You know that was his YouTube personality. I don't know if that's his real person. Like I said, I don't know these people outside of fucking YouTube. So I don't know. They could be fucking serial killers for all I know. They could post some rape and shit. I didn't know Dom did or shit. But you know, um like I said, hey, I don't know, I don't know them, I don't know them dog, I don't know them personally on any type of level. I just know them from YouTube. And they don't seem like listen to little old David, like my my nigga David, my my dog. Those words to try to justify this or explain this, but all I can say is people felt like they had to be silent for the sake of my video and that's not right and it's fucked up and i'm sorry i also want to acknowledge the women that spoke out against dom in 2018. i'm talking about Allie, and then i'm talking about other girls that address their problems privately or publicly so this ain't the first time dom did this hey i know that's your dog babe he haven't been in no videos so i'm guessing y'all haven't really been talking like that no more but dog you don't you don't let your niggas just you know, you see, that's why not every nigga need to be around you, cause their their energy ain't there, ain't on the same level as you. But like I said, I don't know these niggas. I don't know what they be out outside of outside of uh YouTube. So like I say, Don could have been raping, raping on some weird, goofy shit. But David could have just been like, bro, I'm just trying to get some videos in. You know what I mean? I'm got so I, I I see I see two different personalities, and them personalities don't click for me. When I look for them on YouTube, them personalities don't click. I'm, just being I'm sorry I didn't listen to you guys. Yeah, you should. I'm sorry. You always that... listen to a rape allegation. Always listen. You always listen. You don't. You don't choose a side yet. You just listen. I that I always. Took... Some people just want to be able to talk. I'm sorry I keep pausing the video. I, I'm just giving my little rant and reaction too. That's when I'm put the title re reaction and rant. Okay, let's go. I'm word, um, for what happened those in those certain situations, and I didn't believe you. And not only did I not believe you, but I made a joke of of oh, what kind damn. of a person that Dom was. That was already. That ain't what Dom you doing? Yes, because I couldn't wrap my head around a childhood friend of mine That's doing true. this to people and That's actually true. hurting people. And, and, and I'm sorry for that. Not only did I discredit you, Abby, but I platformed Dom. And not only did I platform Dom, but I platformed the subject of sex in a negative way where I made jokes about it. And Why I you like you about to cry, dog? Don't cry. Yo, David, you gonna have me cry out there. Enforce that kind of behavior. And I'm so sorry. And I really let not only you down, but a lot of people down. A lot of people that watch me and my friends and family for that. I made the decision to no longer film. Yeah, my dog, he, he, he's, he's for sure about to cry. Um, in 2019. And oh, not... okay. So he did cut off Dom. All right, I get it. Okay, yeah, that's, some real, that's some real shit. Sure. Should tell you I've been talking with your dog before you did it, but it's, it's all my good. My content has been brilliant yeah. since then. Yeah, but. for sure. Hey, my dog, you the you the shit. I ain't gonna lie, you my top three. That's when I first started taking into account um, the power dynamic and what influence I had on people that I was filming with. But what I didn't do is I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I I kind of moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it. But I didn't address the situation with these women. I'm not talking publicly, I'm saying even privately. I didn't reach out to any of these people. And that breaks my heart knowing that, that I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. Before my- Yeah, my dog, my dog is really about to cry. That's crazy. I don't know if that's supposed to mean he's being really sincere or he's just doing this because his sponsorships are going away. I don't know what's going on either. Like I said, I'm 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 going on with this ride with y'all too. I don't like I said, this is my this is my top three. You you're my top three favorite YouTuber of all time. I, that's why I'm sitting here like, yo, it's hard not to be on the side. But if you listen to everything that's going on, it's like, 
Come on, nigga, what is, what's good with you? People that were still really hurt by what I made. Before my content shifted to be more responsible and positive, I said and did things that were really offensive and I called them bad jokes and I, and I can't even call them bad jokes and it was cowardly of me to say in my last apology that I missed the mark um, because it's fucking gross and I'm sorry. A lot of people reached out to me Are saying- Are you already made an apology? Oh shit. Cancel culture is bullshit, and you need to fight back, and you need to call people out, and I don't agree. Hey, I, one thing about cancel culture, it depends on what you're getting canceled on, okay? Because I've seen people work their ass off. Like, I, I worked my ass off for a good seven months to hit 1K subscribers. <laughs> 1K! When I, when I met you, 1K subscribers? <laughs> and I'm telling you, this this man right here has 18 million, and you're about to get canceled? I, I would be in panic, too. That's why I can see why he's doing the video. Or maybe he just didn't want to do a video, which I avoided until his sponsorships got away. That's what I'm saying. Like, dog, I don't know what to believe. I'm so confused. How this should be taken at all. And I think when there is a crisis, there's a serious opportunity to correct yourself, to learn and improve, and to make sure those mistakes don't happen again. And that's why it is so important to hold yourself accountable. And I think with this situation, there's a lot I can look at and there's a lot I can learn from, but there's a lot of mistakes hey, that I- uh, All mistakes are easy to learn from. You take your L's and to turn them to W's, my nigga. You don't, you don't sit there and sit there and, and waddle in pity though, I ain't gonna lie. And I'm sorry for That's that. for anybody, that's not for just David, that's for anybody. If you take taking L's in your life, you feel like you're just a straight up loser, you're not. You're, you're the fucking shit, you just gotta wait on your time to shine. God will have you, baby. Sorry to God will have you, baby. Down. Don't worry. I'm sorry to my family. And I'm sorry to my friends that I've embarrassed and that this won't happen again. I'm gonna take a short break from all the social media stuff because I realize there's a serious lack of infrastructure when I make any kind of content. And I wanna be able to have a place of checks and balances. I wanna have HR and I wanna be able um, to have people communicate discomfort in a way that's, that's comfortable to them and where, where they don't feel like their emotions or what they're doing or, or how they're acting is compromised. It, it doesn't feel right to go back to posting like I have been, and it also doesn't feel right to go dark. Of course, of course, it doesn't. Why would it feel right? You just, you just literally had your friend have rape allegations, and you, you was defending him, or you did something. I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused on what you did. I, I, I feel as though you just posted a video after she got raped and she was telling you to take it down, like, you, you did you not know what he did to me? You were just sitting like, nah, I don't care, I don't know. That's some real fucked up ass shit. But like I said, whatever goes in the dark, I didn't say this, but whatever happens in the dark will come to the light eventually. So I guess it's just, his time has fucking come. And that's why I'm Because I love what I do. But this, I think it is. This hurts my heart too, because this is one of my, my top three. Like I keep mentioning, he's my, <laughs> I, I got DDG, Flight, and then David Dobrik as my top three YouTubers that I watched all growing up. You know what I mean? Like, ever, ever since middle school days, my nigga, that's what I'm saying. Like, God damn. God, I, I, you already see my boy Flight going through it. <laughs> well, all his girlfriends and baby mamas and drama. I ain't going to talk about that because he keeps trying to put that off the internet. I'm not going to I'm not gonna try to embrace that on the internet. And DDG, I, I don't, he, he good. I mean, he just dropped a D4. He, he, he all right. But damn, my boy David. Fuck. Important to show that change is possible. And Disappointing. I'm learning. Maybe even forgiveness is possible. I want to use this opportunity to step up and own my mistakes. And like I said before, I've never done apology the right way. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to look back at this and I'm, I'm going to be pissed at some things that I didn't say or I wish I could have added more. Um, but this is this is my beginning to that. And, and, and I'm sorry for everybody that I hurt. I also want to add that I'm making myself available to anyone that wants to reach out that I've hurt in the past. Um, I want to be able to, to hear and understand from yourselves and I'll be reaching out on my own to some people um, because I still have a lot of learning to do and I think when you talk to other people especially about experiences like this it um it really helps you see things in a different way but yeah I'm sorry if this video was all over the place I just wanted to sit and talk and ramble yeah I'm sorry about these video being all over the place I'm talking about multiple multiple shit and I probably sound stupid and something I'm sorry about that and I, I really truly hope that someone can take something away from this experience that another creator can can take away from this and I know it's I got I got I got it hey all y'all subscribers is come to me <laughs> I go I go say uh, I ain't gonna say nothing else but I'm just saying hey, yeah, David supporters, hey, become a mountain supporter. It feels, because I, I know how crazy it felt to me that there was some sort of toxicity or some sort of power dynamic in my friend group. But really, just take the moment 
especially when creating content that you're trying to get viewership out of or you're trying to get laughs out of like really take a moment and and look at where the jokes end and where the feelings begin because i think that's so incredibly important okay um i'll see you guys bye okay that's it let me know in the comment section which i think which i think what he was going down is uh is he, you think he's just doing this because of uh his sponsorships are gone and his, his views about to go down or i think hey he really actually sincerely mean this like I said, this is coming from David Dobrik fan. I ain't gonna cap. I wish I had got some some merch back then, but not now, dog. I ain't gonna cap. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe back here next video. I don't wanna go home, but stay on the west coast, lay low, run all that cash up. Now they want shit cans, but back in the day, man, niggas used to want trash us. Talking tough on the internet won't make a difference in me, better go get your bag up. Better days for me and the guys who used to going through the pain, all that bad stuff. Money count, big dog, added up. I don't know why them little niggas mad.